You know, as the uh, director for uh, CJF, I see most leaving the game of futsal, um, futsal training. You know, everything about futsal, they, they leave it behind after the month of February, which kind of marks the end of quote unquote winter indoor futsal season or indoor soccer season uh, right here in New Jersey. You know, the, um, the few, the committed, the ones that understand, you know, why futsal first, why futsal year round, well, we'll continue to train throughout the months of spring and throughout the months of summer. Uh, in fact, um, they will continue training, you know, year round. You know, they will see the benefits of consistent futsal training. We have uh, spring futsal training, we have summer futsal training, and those committed players, you know, they will see the benefits of that year round futsal training in their outdoor soccer game very easily. Uh, you know, it will be noticed, believe me. It will be noticed by themselves, by the parents, by the coaches. It will be noticed by everybody. You know, this is a, this is one of those moments in, in soccer when everyone agrees, you know, to the common knowledge. When everyone agrees that it has been proven by statistics, by analysis, with facts. You know, they show how futsal first can make a positive impact on the overall soccer game of an individual player. Futsal is not just a sport. Futsal is a sport that, you know, players just brush off to the side in quote unquote the off season and pick up again during the indoor soccer months here in the US. Uh, futsal training is crucial. Year round, futsal training, futsal play builds better players who in return bring more to their team's success because of that futsal training, because of that futsal play. I always say never miss the chance to keep a ball at your feet and continue training. Futsal is the basis of all soccer skills no matter what level you're in. It's that simple really. If you don't accept it, if you don't want to acknowledge it, you're not hurting anyone but yourself. You look around the world and all the top players have started playing futsal first at a very young age. It just seems that American culture and American soccer culture is brainwashing everyone. You know, there has been quite of awareness year in and year out, and we do see it. We do see it here in New Jersey. But there are other states in the country that futsal is just so dominant and they're so ahead of the curve than this area in New Jersey. One of my goals is bringing constant futsal awareness to everyone who wants to listen to me. Futsal will not only benefit your individual skills as a soccer player, futsal will not in, you know, just benefit anything about your outdoor soccer game, but it's a great fun game in itself. And guess what? There will be players there will be families, there will be kids that will say, I would rather play futsal than soccer. Actually, I see that all the time. People tell me all the time, my son or my daughter would rather play futsal than soccer. And there's a lot of reasons for that. In my opinion, the biggest reason for that is they feel welcome in that environment. They're technical players. The great players, technically, who are getting overlooked by the old American standard of that you gotta be big, you gotta be tall, you gotta be strong, you gotta be fast to, ex to excel in soccer. That's just not true. It just happens to be an American myth. Some of the best players in the world, they're not that big. However, they have developed their, you know, IQ, their speed of thought, their speed of play through futsal. Should I name one? How about Messi? How about Xavi? How about Iniesta? How about Ronaldo? How about Ronaldinho? How about Neymar? Should I go on? We have to dismiss that notion that in order to be a top soccer player, you have to be big, you have to be strong, you have to be powerful. No, 
further from the truth. A technical player is a technical player. And by the way, a technical player is not just a player who has great foot, foot skills, which futsal is a breeding ground for that. A technical player is somebody who can read the game, adjust to the game, and be ahead of the game at least one play at all times. Futsal is also a great teacher for that because of the restrictive space, because of the speed of play, players have to quickly think, quicker read the game, adjust and use their individual technical skills to shield, protect the ball and all that good stuff, which by the way will return benefit their outdoor soccer game. Here's another piece of uh, last piece of nugget that I would like to give everybody. Don't think that you cannot be discovered, do not think that you cannot be ID'd through a futsal game, a tournament. Those futsal coaches at the top levels, a lot of them are also academy soccer coaches, college coaches, professional coaches if you go overseas. So guess what? You can be ID'd through a futsal competition through a futsal training, through a futsal game. In the last nine months, actually, oh yeah, about that, since July 2021, where the AC Nationals, where I was down AC Nationals, um, I have had the pleasure to identify three players, talk to three players through futsal. Just a thought for you guys. You can embrace what's going on. You can embrace the awareness. And, you know, we should all be so lucky that futsal is bringing so much value into our soccer games, into our soccer players. Let's stop being resistant of what's good for the kids, what's good for the players, because of whatever situation. Again, as the... Director for CJF Futsal. I watch a lot of games every weekend during the winter months when it's prime futsal season here in New Jersey, quote, quote. But also in the spring months or in the summer, in our summer futsal leagues and what have you, okay? And let me tell you something. I consistently see families that have never played futsal. The parents didn't even know what futsal was. And they get hooked. Once they're into that environment, they get hooked. Because of the fun, the speed, the action, the goals, everything. They get hooked as a sport. So why not continue that year round? Think about it. It's your money. You should be able to spend it the way you want to. Do some due diligence on why futsal. Do some due diligence on how is futsal the best development tool for your young soccer player. Stop being brainwashed with the badge on your shirt or the club or the academy or all these, you know, stories out there how XYZ outfit can do so much for you if you play for them. The best thing I can do for you is educate you and your kids on why futsal can be an immense, tremendous development tool that will help your kid at whatever level they choose to play. Recreation, fun, or competitive. And as a parent myself of a soccer player, I can tell you, let them be. Let them make their own choice at what level they want to play. It's not all about medals. It's not all about championships. Those things do not determine the character of our kids. Those things do not determine what kind of individual quality people they will become. Simple as that. I hope you guys enjoy futsal and make it part of your training year round. In closing, that's really what I have to say. 
Wish you guys all a great year-round futsal experience.